Kalonsky? Here. Mrs. McCormack? Here. Dr. Miskowitz? Here. Mr. Petruno? Here. Mrs. Seward? Here. And Mrs. Mendez? Here. I'll draw your attention to the Sunshine Law Statement of Videotaping of Public Portion of Board of Education Meeting and Public Comment Statement. I won't read them in full, but they're there for you to review, as well as the no smoking or vaping on school grounds. Can we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I'm going to start with announcements. I first one would like to start with a moment of silence uh, statement for Mrs. Laura Sturgis. In 2007, Mrs. Laura Sturgis commenced her tenure as an educator at Robertsville Elementary School. Throughout her years of service, she left an indelible mark on the lives of numerous students and colleagues. With heavy hearts, we received the news of Mrs. Sturgis's recent passing. Let us now unite in a moment of silence to honor the memory of this exceptional teacher, dearly missed by the MTPS community. Okay. Any other announcements? Okay. Um, we're now going to open it up to public comments. Mr. Caravello? Sure. Yes, first on the list, uh, Mrs. Jen Salachi. Hi. Can I lift this or no? Okay. I'm going to try. Um, I'm Jen Salachi, as you know. Um, okay. The MEF is and has always been for the teachers and students of Marlboro. We fundraise so we can give extra money to the schools. Lately, I just lost my spot, our fundraising attempts have been difficult because we were told that our flyers will not be sent home through the schools. I've had conflicting conversations um, <laughs> about this and want to know why. There is no reason for this. If it's our bylaws, you got them. We are in compliance of 9191. We are raising money for your schools, your students, your teachers. This is making us feel as if you do not want our money. I know there are members of the BOE that have personal feelings about members of the MEF and vice versa, but we need to be adults and put those feelings aside and work together to better our schools and support our teachers and students. Our Wizards flyer and link for tickets were supposed to go out yesterday. The town and the rec center sent it out, but the schools did not. Why? This is our biggest fundraiser for your schools and students every year, and you wouldn't help fund it. My daughter is texting me, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and you wouldn't help support it. I hope everyone can decide to put their personal feelings aside about one another and work together so we can continue to help better Marlboro Township Public Schools. I hope you will descend to set, decide to send the flyer out so more of our parents can purchase tickets and our students can watch their teachers play basketball against the Wizards. It's always a lot of fun, and I know many of you have attended with your children, as I have. Thank you. Okay, next, uh, Wendy and Sal Tudorici. As I stand before you tonight, a person who was elected, shame on you. My husband is a 9-11 first responder, and so am I. He got cancer from protecting others. You see, naturally, I'm trained to run into an environment and think about others before I think about people like you. You, as a board of elected by community, failed my daughter 
you fail to establish mechanisms to prevent abuse, to prevent the atrocity that happened down that hallway to my 13-year-old daughter. My daughter was sexually abused in this school, in a hallway, on a camera, by your teacher, Jenna Shabika. You let this predator in our school. No denying, she's on video. A teacher who I've since learned through your peers, your employees, your employees, has a history of problems, sexualized conversations with children, bullying peers, intimidation, misconduct. Your teacher was moved from school to school for her actions. Your teacher with the disciplinary actions was kept in this district. She molested my daughter. The school failed to establish rudimentary training policies and mechanisms that are required teachings for the state to identify and protect against foreseeable harm to our students. Now it gets worse. It gets worse, right? My daughter, our daughter, after being sexually molested in your school, in your hallway, she then has to return to school and return to the accuser's classroom so we could figure out how to deal with this public molestation. How about that? How about she had more torment in a classroom, in a building filled with adults, and she got more torment? Well, you figured it out. Sexually molested in that hallway, touched on video. The school failed to see the situation for my child. Then when the damage was done, the lawyer in this district writes me a letter. And I'm going to quote his line. If anybody should be aware of this teacher's proclivities, I hope you know the definition of that, it should have been Jane Doe's parents. He blamed me for what happened down that hallway. Your teacher, Jenna Shabika, molests my daughter in school, sends me a letter. The lawyer's in this room. He's in this room. And he said it was my fault. Direct your comments to the chair, please. I got three minutes right here. Come over, Sal. I got six. Go ahead. Good. He sent start me this three letter. Now, please. Come on, my husband has cancer. He's got chemo throat. I'll talk for him. Mm -hmm. He sent me this letter. I have a copy that it's my fault. My daughter was sexually abused at school. I said the quote by a teacher you failed to protect my daughter from. I hope that you are not remembered for the ethical complaints in Florida. You know what you're going to be remembered for? For the guy who blamed sexual assault on a child in school by her, to her parents. You blamed us. You can't make up this kind of stupid, can you, folks? You can't make it up. I ran to the fires in 9-11. I saved people like you. Who's running my fire? You are a disgrace. You can't even terminate Jenna Shabika. She resigned. 16-year pension. Publicly boasting about a change of career. Luxury. Right to resign. You sent this predator back into the world. At times, I can't, I don't even have the ability to comfort my daughter. She suffers day and night with depression, anxiety, uncontrollable fear. But that's because of some people in this room. The lawyer! That's our voice. In fact, you know what? This is the start. It is going to be my mission in New Jersey to let them know how dangerous this school is. This school district is. I'm going to let them know that it's a school environment, in my opinion, run by victims counseled, by ethical, 
questionable, incompetent, victim, shaming, that guy right there. And now I have the motivation and I have the courage to speak like never before. I am Lily's mom. You have hands as dirty as Jenna Shabika. See all these people? This is Lily's mother, father, aunt, uncles, and cousin. Look at them in the eye. When you enter this building, a child was molested down that hallway, touched in ways she should never have been. And that guy right there, blame me. I am going to make sure every news media outlet knows it, every newspaper knows it. You're going down for victim shaming and competence. And I want you to know that lawyer up there is your voice. Your voice. He represents each and one of your children. Next up, um, no, I'm sorry, hold on, I, you know, I don't. I'd like to make a motion for new counsel. I'm sorry, Aldo, can you repeat that? I couldn't hear you. I'd like to make a motion for the board to seek new counsel. I second that motion. Okay, I'm sorry. You, you said you want to make a motion for the board to seek new counsel. I didn't hear you. Yeah, that's okay. exactly what I said. All right. Second. Let me just, I think we have to close public comments. We're in the of public comments right. When we're done with public comments, Aldo, then we'll come back to the, the motion. Okay. Uh, next up, I, sorry if I mispronounced your last name, Gary Smiley. Mm -hmm. Hi, good evening. I'm only going to, I might defer two minutes of my time. My name is Gary Smiley, and I'm here on behalf of the Tortorici family in the capacity of their union representative from the uniformed EMTs, paramedics, and fire inspectors of the New York City Fire Department. I find it egregious and despicable that this school district is throwing to the curb the horrendous attack that occurred to Lily Tortorici, the daughter of Wendy and Sal Tortorici. The Tortorici family, especially Sal, our 9-11 World Trade Center heroes. Sal diagnosed with a terminal disease for taking care of those in need. It is shameful that these people, these parents, are being blamed for the actions of a predator, a school teacher. I am the grandfather of four granddaughters. I have a daughter, a daughter-in-law, and a girlfriend. So I have seven women in my life that I treasure. If that happened to one of them, I would go to the ends of the earth to take everybody down. Please know that the collective weight of every uniformed union in the city of New York is behind these parents and Lily. Keep that in mind. You have a good evening. Okay, next up, Mr. Adam Pollock. I'm uh, Adam Pollock, 52s. Thank you, sorry. Um, I'm Adam Pollock, 52, St. Lawrence Way, Marlboro. Um, I was going to say, talk about something completely different uh, than what we're talking about now, and I don't honestly want to talk about the topic that I was going to bring up, which had something to do with the, uh, our children and social media and phones and things like that. Um, I um, was emotionally affected by what you said, and um, I would like the board or the, um, the town to respond to what just happened here and uh, give a point of view. Um, I respect uh, Aldo for hearing what uh, just happened and, and trying to do something about it. I think you, uh, I, as, a, as a community member here, uh, somewhat, something has to be discussed here and, and talk about what's happening here. Um, I also understand there might be legal reasons why things can't be discussed. Um, um, 
but this has to be addressed and I'm, I would like that to be discussed before we discuss anything else about, uh, that I wanted to bring up. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Pollack, I don't know if this is on. Mr. Pollack, I just wanted to say, um, and Ms. Tortorici, that I wanted to give you and your family the respect to let you all speak and then I am a mom too, so I have, I can only say so much, but I just want you to know I wanted to give everybody the respect to speak first before at least I said anything, so. Sure. And, and I, I just wanted to respond as well. Um, the district is constrained by law in terms of what we can say here because there is a threat of litigation from your attorney uh, with a significant monetary demand. It's not a threat. Okay. But l let me ask, I, I wanted to apologize to the extent that you felt I was blaming you because certainly that was in no way, shape, or form my intent. Um, and to the extent that it was viewed that way. Again, I apologize because it was not my intent. My only point was, and again, because we're dealing with personnel matters, I have to be careful in what I say. The district had no knowledge whatsoever um, about this teacher's, um, there was no prior issue with this particular staff member, let's put it that way, that would have given the district any indication whatsoever that she would have conducted herself as inappropriately and as unprofessionally and as abusively as she did. Uh, when the district learned of the matter, we immediately took action. We reported it to law enforcement. And suffice it to say, the teacher, suffi sir, please don't interrupt me. I didn't interrupt. Suffice it to say, the teacher no longer works here. And we've also taken, we've also, she did. And we've also taken appropriate steps to report it to the State Board of Examiners uh, in a very detailed letter explaining what had occurred. That's all I can comment. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. So. Sir, you, you'll, you'll have an opportunity if you'd like to get up. Sir, you are more than welcome, please, if you'd so, like to speak. So, you can so that's all I want to say, and I don't think the board should comment on the matter because, again, we're dealing with potential litigation and we have to be very constrained publicly um, about this issue, but I'm happy to talk further about it with the board under attorney-client privilege in closed session. I do. There's one more. Uh, next on the list, uh, Mr. Moshe Grant. Good evening, uh, members of the board and administration. Obviously, I came to speak about something completely different, but I cannot bring myself to speak about it today. Um, I had my own issue with the prior administration under the same legal counsel. And I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart that at least in my opinion, which I decided not to go to court with, at least in my opinion, there were cases of retaliation against parents in this district. One case I took to court and I decided to dismiss it from a federal court of appeal based on the fact that the prior superintendent simply left the district. And my intention was never to go after the district or any particular board member. But Mr. Zittermer, I feel for these two people over here. When my daughter was retaliated against, in my opinion, the heat came to me, not the other way around. I was targeted. My children were targeted. That's my opinion. There's no one left on my list. Does anybody else <clears throat> want to speak? I just, um, I can only uh, say so much. So, Ms. Tortorici, I, um, I heard you. I'm a mom. My child goes here as well. And um, I can only say so much. So I just want you to know I heard you. And um, thank you for speaking. 
uh, motion to close public comments. Oh, sorry, Ashley. Second, Michael. Thank you. All in favor? Thank you. Um, HIB. HIV report for March 15th, 2024 through April 11, 2024. There was one incident but, reported. I'm sorry, I, I made a motion earlier. Are, are we just disregarding that or? No, I'm sorry, okay. Aldo, you see, you see I'm, yeah, uh, we can make the motion under new business. Yes, your motion will be voted on Aldo at new business. HIV, Michael? HIV report March 15th, 2024 through April, April 11th, 2024. There was one incident reported. Thank you. Financial and business operations matters. Oh, Michael. Financial and Business Operations Matters, the Superintendent of Schools submits the following resolutions for approval. One, amended resolution approval of professional services agreement with Tokarashi Key and Millman Architects, LLC for eight track improvements at Marlboro Elementary School. Number two, harassment, intimidation, bullying, HIB report. Number three, travel. I so move. Do I have a second? Mm. Ashley? Roll call. Dr. Miskowitz? Here. <laughs> no, we're we'll voting oh, yes. on that. Oh, yes, we're voting on that stuff. Yeah. Yes, yes but I'm sorry. Dr. Miskowitz, <laughs> you just have to abstain, abstain oh. from travel oh, I'm sorry. for your piece because you're on there traveling. I didn't even look at the travel thing. Wait one second. Let me go back. I'm a little bit. That's okay. <sighs> I'm abstaining from the board piece. Travel for Travel. yourself. Yes. Yep. Yes, and yes to everything else, one and two? Yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Mr. Petruna? Yes. Mrs. Seward? Yes. Mrs. Belomo? Yes. Mr. Hyatt? Yes. Mrs. McCormack? Yes. Mr. Lolonsky? Yes. And Mrs. Mendez? Yes. Personal matters, Annette? There's going to be feedback on my microphone. Thank you. Personnel matters. The superintendent of schools submits the following resolution for approval. One, resignation. Two, rescinded employment officer. Three, employment instructional assistant. Four, employment maintenance mechanic. Five, employment additional assignment. Six, amended hours and salary non-certificated staff. Seven, stipends additional duty school monitor. Eight, substitute instructional assistant. I so move. Do I have a second? Ashley. Roll call. Okay. Dr. Miskowitz? No. To which ones? Resignation. <laughs> and, 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 uh, yes to the other. Yes so no to number one and yes yeah. to the rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Can we pause for a second? Okay. I'm sorry. Because yeah. I think it's, I think we have to, we can't go into too much, but. So why, why don't we make, let me, let me explain the implications of a no vote. Why don't we save that? Maybe somebody can make a motion to table number one so we can discuss it in closed session first. Okay. Uh, then I make a motion that we save number one for the resignation to discuss in private, in executive closed session. Closed session, right. Yep. I second her table. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So we won't consider item one right now. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to restart and I'm okay. gonna vote. I'm gonna go from numbers two through eight, tabling yes. number one, the personnel. Yes. So Dr. Miskowitz? Yes. Mr. Petruno? Yes. 
Wait, hold on. I'm voting yes to Sue's Two statement. through eight. Yeah. No, yeah. no, this is, two no, through eight is, is, oh, yeah, yeah. Two through eight. One we word, removed one the number one round. Okay. Okay. Uh, two through eight, yes. And I'm with Sue on what she said. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Belomo, two through eight. Yes, for two through eight. Mr. Hyatt? Uh, yes, for two through eight. Thank you. Mr. Olonsky? Yes. Mrs. McCormack? Yes. Mrs. Seward? Yes. And Mrs. Mendez? Yes. Two through eight. Yes. Uh, policy development and community relations matter. Ashley? The superintendent of schools submits the following resolution for approval. One, <clears throat> job description. Two, policy committee as a whole board of education. I so move. Second. Second, Michael. And then discussion. So I just wanted to point out for n number two, the policy committee as a whole was the conversation that we had last um, meeting and um, Aldo had proposed that and we said we'd table that until this meeting and so <clears throat> that's where we are so we're just here to have the conversation you could vote yes no whatever you feel is right yeah why don't i reread my motion yeah <coughs> and i'm sorry ma'am i apologize i'm going through the, what I, on the agenda here but i Please don't take it disrespectful that we're taking care of other business because I can't take my mind off of what you just said. I would like to make a motion for the policy committee to be restructured. Currently, the policy committee operates as a committee of a select few board members. I would like to motion for the policy committee to be a committee of the whole board. To begin, the Board of Education's primary role is to be a policy-making body, which in my opinion makes this committee one of the more important and one that deserves all voices to be represented and heard equally. This change would allow the board to operate more transparently and efficiently, two qualities which I've always felt the community deserves. At the same time, this change will provide all the members of the board, as well as the stakeholders in the community, the critical information needed when trying to understand the intentions behind policy changes and revisions. It would be in the board's best interest to, completely, to be completely forthcoming and open in our dialogue regarding policies that impact our district and students alike. Additionally, a committee of the whole in this fashion would enable the necessary checks and balances needed in an area that is our number one priority as a Board of Education. I want to ensure that conversations had amongst the board, mem amongst the board regarding policy are had real time and within the purview of the, com the community so any feedback or input that community members or board members have will be considered and hashed out publicly. This will enable, enable our board to run more efficiently and effectively. An additional benefit of creating a policy, of, a policy committee of the whole board is that it will reduce the amount of personal time spent by board members, administration, and legal representation in separate meetings apart from normally scheduled board meetings. It seems pointless to me to conduct these meetings separately, especially when hours of select board members' revisions and work go to the wayside with one swipe of an individual's pen. To me, as a board member, the policy committee is a crucial part of a Board of Education's efficacy. Policies are, the only, are, are only effective when they're collaborated upon and followed by all involved parties. I firmly believe that a motion for the policy committee to be a committee of the whole is the appro appropriate move for our Board of Education. Thank you. Thank you, Aldo. Do I have a second? Danielle? Discussion? I have one more question yeah, no. <clears throat> regarding this. It would be, if it passed, it would be another open public meeting with public comments, 
and another schedule on the calendar, correct? Yeah, we could either do it within the confines of one of our regular <laughs> meetings or we'd have to schedule probably a separate, a separate meeting, meeting each month because of, of the work that's involved. And we would still break for executive regarding policies that we... Yes. So if you were it, looking at a policy, you could look at it. We could get to a section that might require... You but know, because it is open public, there needs to be notice to the community. And there correct. There would be a public comment then, section. Right, and then we'd go to entire. executive, and then we can come back, and we could, we you could know, We can go in executive for anything involving legal or personnel-related issues. All right, thank you. The policy gets rewritten in that meeting itself, the work we, is done We do the work at the committee, at the, at the actual <laughs> meeting itself, yeah. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay. Okay, so this is roll call vote for number one, job description. Number two, the policy committee as a whole, Board of Education. So first, Dr. Miskwitz. Yes to number one, no to number two. <coughs> Mr. Paterno. <coughs> yes, to both. Thank you. Mrs. Seward. Yes to one, no to two. Mrs. Belomo? Yes. Mr. Hyatt? Uh, yes, number one, no to two. Mr. Olonsky? Yes to one, no to number two. Mrs. McCormack? Yes. And Mrs. Mendez? Yes to one, no to two. Okay, so one passes and two does not have five no's. Mm -hmm. Old business. No old business, okay. Um, new business. Yeah, I got, I, I got one. And again, uh, I'm Sorry, um, it doesn't seem like the proper evening. Uh, if you, it, I'm gonna continue with this just because I had it written, but I, I don't think enough emphasis was placed on what was said earlier, I'm sorry. Um, I'd like to make a motion. I'd like to file a motion that any and all surveys to be taken by students at MTPS will be done so only with prior review, approval, and written authorization by the student's parents as it pertains to each survey when conducted. This will be in addition to any prior authorizations or consent given previously in the Genesis portal by parents at the start of the school year or upon enrollment in the MTPKS K through eight, uh, MTPS K through eight district. In the spirit of transparency, no survey should be presented to any student in the district unless the parents of the student have had the opportunity to review in writing each question along with any multiple choice answers that will be offered in an effort to ensure full disclosures being offered to the student and families of our district. <laughs> Once parents have had the opportunity to review the survey and provide their, in, and provide their informed consent to their children taking the survey, will it be provided to students? There is to be no grade point assignment to any parents having opted their children out of a, um, a survey. When being presented to parents, the survey must also include any guidelines or description that will be presented to the students when administering, administering the survey so that the parents will have a full understanding of the context in which the survey will be presented, given, and used to their children. The parents should also be notified what, um, who the survey is being conducted for, where the information is going, and for what. To ensure that parents are able to make an informed decision for the best interests of their children, the district must ensure that it will at all times provide every parent with the following three items, transparency, full disclosure, and informed consent before giving the students any surveys. If all three of these guidelines are not met when acquiring parental consent, no survey will be administered to the students. Right. Can, 
find me a second for that one. Danielle, thank you. Um, discussion. So, Aldo, I had some questions because I am with you on, on that piece. I just wanted to ask just the spirit because it was a lot what you read. So what you're saying is, is the parent should approve it right before the child takes the survey or is even given the survey. I just want to understand what I'm yeah. voting on. Yeah, 100 percent. The parents need to be notified when the kids are going to take a survey. What took place last week was not proper, and I'm sorry, it wasn't. That, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Any other discussion on it? OK. OK, roll call vote. There is one thing to, to mention, that we do currently have um, a policy on surveys, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, well, then I'd like this one to What's either that? replace it or go in a, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I don't know. Did you really need to interject my motion with that right now? No, I just now? wanted to make sure the board was aware that we do have a policy. And okay. the point is, the things you're addressing could be added to that policy. So oh, okay. there's already one on the board. We're still open for discussion. I have a question, too. So we do have a policy. I looked at On it surveys, student week. surveys, that, that conforms yes. to the law, because there are certain topics but yeah. I also had a discussion with Mr. Ballone, and can we add to that that maybe surveys for our students are not actually given in school and instead they're sent home to the parents? Cause no, because I don't know where the, we don't know, parents don't parents know where the information is going. I who, agree with that. I, I'm finding out, like, not, I, you know, uh, no, I'm sorry. You don't want to add that they get sent home I, I would parents need to, read, to fill I out I would need to parents. read the policy first because I don't know what's in it, so I don't want to speak to that. Are you speaking about the policy, I'm actually? talking about Aldo's motion, maybe adding to your motion that they're not given in school. They're given oh, home. Oh. To That's, the parents. I, I, I'm happy to. So if we that obviously would, have consent. I was if ask that it. would bring the rest of the board on board, I'm happy to add that. Yeah, I was going to ask that home. too. But notwithstanding, though, it still needs to meet all these criteria. Of this, it's not an A or B path. Can Can we just, if you don't mind, I'm I'm fine with the survey piece going to the parents and them reviewing. I'm with you on all of that. I just want to know. You said all the criteria. Can you? Would you mind just reviewing yeah, the criteria? Transparency, full disclosure, and informed consent. The parents need to be physically notified with an email of the survey their kids are going to take, the context in which it's going to be taken, any descriptions. If there's going to be a point assignment to it, and they're going to be told that they had to take it in class, that has to be disclosed to the parents ahead of time, and the parents have to see the questions, the answers that are on there, and they need to know who's conducting the survey, for what, and where it's going. It's yeah. very simple. Yeah. Can I ask this question for, for myself? I, I say yes to that, except I would prefer, just for myself, if the children don't take the survey in school at all. I would just prefer that the survey gets sent home to the parents in an email and the parent make the decision as if they want the child the to take the survey or are, not. Are, as long as it's being no, the parents are being notified, I, like, I don't want an issue. You guys are really complicating this. Mm -hmm. I don't want an issue where it's being given to the kids without parental consent to bring home and now they're reading it on the way home. Parents have to be notified ahead of time with all the stuff I said so that they can decide if they're going to opt them kids out or not. Go ahead. Aldo, Aldo, I think we're all agreeing with you. I just have, if we want to tack on the end, the last piece is not, not to happen in school. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'll, we're I'm, not trying to overcomplicate. No, no, I'm I understand. To actually, I'm, I'm trying to that. simplify it to just say. I just want to make sure parents are being notified ahead of time. Even if it's going home with the kids, yeah. you're notifying I them agree. ahead of time. Parents should be notified ahead. They should see the questions. I'm with you on all of that. For me to vote, though, yes. I just want to make sure that, for me, I don't want the children taking the survey in school. I'd rather they just take it at home and the parent decides if they do or not. So will that survey be sent to the child's MTPS email address? No, I was, for me, in so my head, I was So it will have to be thinking, sent to the parent registered through Genesis. That's where all surveys will be. Is that what you're asking to have happen here? I'm just having a discussion on what everybody thinks, right? I just want to know. There's a difference between a survey being sent home to a parent or a survey being sent to my child to take at home because yeah, then no. the purview is mm -hmm. they Daniel, get to see it before I do. I'm not for it being sent to the child directly. So it will be sent to the parent who's registered on mm -hmm. Genesis. So that's, 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 that's exactly my point. I want the parent to right. be the one to say, Agreed. this that's survey fine. is Agreed. here for you I'll, to take if, you, if the parents agree. I can Agreed. add that. I'll put that, I'll, 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 I'll note it down here that the, the surveys will be, any surveys will be administered through Genesis, the parent portal. Right. That's at least my thought, but I think you said you wanted to say something too. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just want to make sure, and Mr. Petruno, thank you for your feedback. Um, I, think it's, I think it's good feedback. Um, I just want to be clear, though, just, just so I understand. There are some teachers who provide surveys to students, so I, I just want to make sure. Well, that'll stop them. I'm sorry? That'll stop until there's consent. Where does, is there really, like, are you not understanding this? Hold on, hold on. What survey, when you're talking about that, I just want to make sure we're talking through all of it. That's all. We have to have, that's why we're having a discussion, right? So what yeah, you're I mean, saying. Yeah, I this is, I mean, the, you're I'm sorry. Saying they, I'm still heated from what I heard at the beginning of the meeting. And I don't mean to take it out on you, but I, I'm, as I'm listening, these questions sound like you're complicating something very simple. Well, just, just no. tell us the surveys that you're referring to that so the teachers give. I'll give you an example. I was an ELA teacher here for many years in this building, and there were times where I would survey my students on their interests on books, what topics they would like to write about. I just want to be clear that for our staff, I want to make sure our staff are protected, that sometimes teachers do provide surveys to students that are in the confines of their classroom. No, I'm sorry. There's no gray area on this. It's black and white. There's surveys or there's not. There's no surveys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the way my motion stands. But can I ask a question? So what you're saying is this will impact curriculum and how teachers are teaching students to some extent. So we need to explore that impact, in my opinion. So, I, yes, that's what I'm saying. I agree with everything that Otto said. I yeah. completely understand. I think if we could keep this exclusive to surveys that are sent by the administration for feedback on school operations no. or something specific to that. I'm sorry, but I don't know. After, I'm sorry. And, Chad, I, I respectfully disagree with you because after seeing what this pro survey turned into, you know, the whole, the whole debacle that it turned into, I don't know what's being weaved into where, and after hearing what this poor mother just came up here and said, nah, like, I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry. I no. agree that, that there should be no data collection from my child that like, I'm not aware of. Let the parents decide. Where do we here to teach reading, writing, and math? Let's just keep teaching reading, writing, and math and leave everything else out, please. Come on. But, 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 but hold on. <laughs> I agree with Aldo. I agree with Aldo 100%. I would not want my kid getting a survey without me seeing it first, 100%. But if a teacher says, can I ask you to list your top five books and your book? That's wildly that's different. Yeah, that's but what that's you're saying. That's a survey. Yeah, that's. Is that's that not like, what you said? Yeah. I, I just want to make sure, and, and Mr. Petruno, I agree with you. Let, let's be very clear. I do uh, agree with for, you. For As people that I. are agreeing with me, I'm getting a lot of resistance here. I'm just letting can, you guys can know I just that. Say though, you're not getting resistance. You're, you're getting questions yeah. for clarification. That's you just have to different. listen. We're, I'm 100% with you. So I just want to hear, and I said that from the very beginning with this. I just want to make sure that everybody knows all. They, they're, it's open for discussion so that everybody can feel like they know what they're voting on. That's all. But, right. So everybody go around, speak your piece. And that's all we're saying. Ask your questions, and then we can vote. Because I think what you heard is correct, Aldo. We are with you, but they are open. They just want to have discussion. Understood, Ashley Chad. I, I take that as like, a, I think those are questions that are asked in class. Like, you know, that would be saying that like all well, homework, in my opinion, then would be a survey. I'm not saying that. So as long as that's the case, then I would vote yes to your motion. But I appreciate I need that. to be clear that that's you. the case. Did you want to add anything else? No, I just want to. I want to protect our. Staff. I want to make sure we're doing the right thing and make sure the staff is protected. I That's want to all. do the right thing and make sure the children are protected too. So, so do I. <laughs> I. Okay. Any other discussion? It's questions? It's a point of clarification. Okay. Okay. Roll call vote. Mr. Hyatt? Yes, with the stipulation that we look at the current, that this doesn't affect how teachers teach kids. <laughs> I don't know how to say it any clearer. If we limit this to surveys sent out by the administration asking for feedback on the schools, then yes, absolutely, parents should see those surveys 1,000%. But if a parent wants to ask a question to students in their classroom on a survey, I have a problem with that because it doesn't, Teachers aren't harming kids. So I'll vote yes on this with that stipulation. Oh. 
All right. Vin all right, Vinny? we're taking a roll call. Go ahead. Any? All right. All right. Roll call. So Chad said yes. Mr. Lewonski? Yes. Mrs. McCormack? Yes. Dr. Miskowitz? Yes. Mrs. Seward? Yes. Mrs. Belomo? Yes. Mr. Petruno? Yes. And Mrs. Mendez? Yes. Okay, motion passes. I need to uh, stop the meeting for a minute. We have a policy in place that there are no electronics on the dais, so all electronics need to be put away from the dais. Otherwise, it does okay. cause a conflict with an Open Public Meetings Act. Thank you. New, any other new business? No, I was going to put another policy motion forward, but I'm going to save it for the next meeting. I don't, I can't do it now. I don't think it's appropriate. Okay. I had wanted to give you a heads up on that because I told you I okay. was going to do it. Not a problem. Anything else? Okay. Public comments? No, I think um, the other new business motion, right? For him? Do I need to, is this Oh, yes, I'm sorry, Aldo. Yeah, yes, new business, yes. For mm -hmm. uh, seeking new legal counsel. Um, I, I so move. Second. I second that. Danielle. Discussion. I, I guess I would like to speak um, briefly, very briefly. I was, I don't even know how to put it into words, but I was floored, shocked, revisited this for seven hours today when I found out today about what had been communicated on behalf of this board. Um, I want to just make it known that I had personally no idea what was communicated on behalf of this board. Um, and if I had, I would not have been okay with it. And I, I just feel like it is very, very important that I say that. Um, can we break to executive? Because I don't, I don't know what that means, and it makes me really yeah, confused. Actually, fine. there's a motion going on right now. Oh, there's a motion. Thank you. Right. No, so uh, it will. And yeah. I apologize too for the lack of compassion in that email. Yeah. That was we completely. Can, I had no idea that was inappropriate. It's a letter. I'll give you plenty of copies. That's what I'm. I'm, I'm sorry. And That's I've got a lot I'm, of emails. Yeah, I'm okay. sure. I, I don't. Actually, doubt. All right. Line. So I just want to. Did you want to say something, Michael? Yeah, I, I just said we postponed motions before because we had to talk about them and we didn't have enough information. So this could, we could talk about an executive and we could postpone this till we speak because I haven't seen that letter. I haven't I, either. We I don't have it either. No knowledge of that letter. You can make a motion to table. It's not true that I have it? Tell Michael. I don't have it either. They get better because then he dug himself out of the hole. He won't trust it. Yeah. I'm going to put so we're going to. We'll be in the newspaper. Marlboro's going to be on Channel 12 News. Understood. She's okay. getting arrested. All right, so I just want to, we're going to motion. I, I think you said you wanted to motion. Well, we're in the middle of Aldo's motion. We'll make a motion to table. You want to make, you said we'll you wanted to make a motion to table. So we could discuss an executive. So we could discuss yes. an executive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Need a second. And a second, Ashley? I, I, okay. Let's, let's all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So all in favor? Aye. Chad, are you in favor or not in favor? Dr. Miskowitz, in yes. favor? Mm -hmm. Ashley, you're in favor? Yes, I would rather I am speak an executive to see before I vote on a motion without knowing what you know. I have it. And then, okay, so motion to motion table. Carries. Motion carries. Any other new business? Any other new business? Any other, oh, sh any other new business? Okay, public comments? No, but again, we can't have electronics. Wait, you can just come, if you can come to the mic, we can't hear you, I'm sorry. So under Robert's rules of order, I can ask for a point of information. If you're going to table your ideas about whether or not you're going to accept the resignation of the predator, um, are those discussions going to be made public at any time, or are they going to be kept in committee? Because then we will never know as a public. If, if the board votes, hi. If the board votes on it, we would come out and publicly vote on it. Um, so, okay, so, so the answer is yes. Okay. If, I mean, but when you say the board votes on it, um, I mean, I do a lot of legislative stuff, so I'm a pretty smart guy, even though I look like a regular dope. Um, you, you, you could keep your comments to yourself, and then no one will know the outcome of what you're going to do with this teacher. So, I mean, if if the board 
you know, when you say if the board wants to, I mean, you guys are facing a multi-million dollar lawsuit. So uh, as just the regular guy in the room, I, I honestly don't think you're going you're gonna to give anything away. And that's why the board, ne oh, sir. Oh, I know that. Too. And that's why the board needs to discuss it in closed session under attorney-client privilege. We're constrained about, ma'am, and we're constrained about what we can say publicly. Um, but ultimately, if the motion is brought back from the table to accept the resignation, that would be voted on publicly. Right. You would, so, so we would, you would hear the result. Next right. month's meeting, we can come, we can come in and ask for what the clarification was on whether she resigns or, or retire or is. Yeah, or is, and we will answer it to the extent that we can. Okay. And, and sir, just so you know, the meeting, there's another meeting this month, just so you know, so you can come out here, okay? The th April 30th is the next board meeting. Wait, I just would, can, can I ask you legally, though, the reason why? Where she was molested. What? The picture of Shabika is on the I just the want wall. to give her a moment. And she has to learn in that classroom. And she molested my daughter. Do you understand? And she back to her and then she showed up at my and house. Exactly what she and then I have 50 to 60 daughter. messages. Mm -hmm. I had that on my phone. Can you imagine that? Miss and this man knows it. Uh, Annette, did you, did you want to say something? I mean, you can see that. How about that? You guys can see that. How about my daughter? Yes. It's coming at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes. And she's going to go sit in that classroom. Then it took them three weeks to clean out. Her picture. I just don't want you, niece. Annette. Did you want? Please don't misunderstand. I mean, you guys can see how yes. I mean, we, no, I know. I, I, I don't, you question. don't have to apologize. I mean, I no, you don't have to reason, apologize. The reason why, is, sir, I just want to. These, these people are family to me. I understand. And even though I'm here to support them, you can see how upset they get by just one. Sir, word. I have never met them really really before, and I am this, highly this offended. This is this is a this is we this, are. this is a tenured. Yeah, hang on, sir. This is a tenured employee, and there are yeah. Let, yeah. Me, let, me no, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me tell you. Let me finish. Remember the New York City Fire Department, the Police Department. I am. Can I? They would be fired. All right. Can can I just? Suspended for thirty days and then fired. I. There are. There. I understand. I understand. There are implications if we don't. We, by accepting a resignation, there's finality to it. Okay. So. I'm not. Ma'am, ma'am, I just want to clarify. My no vote was so that we don't accept the resignation and we can fire her. Right. I just want That's you to understand. Make yes. clear. We're tabling yeah. the resignation to just discuss. To the legal so we can understand the legal but implications not, to discuss it. If we vote no to her resignation, we're not accepting her resignation. It's not a matter of she our opinion of whether or not she. To show we all right. We I'm want. We are. We want to respect you. That's why we're going in executive to discuss it. Molested by a teacher in this school. Yes. You need to show respect. Oh, believe me, I am in no way, shape, or form justifying what happened. What happened is abhorrent, despicable, and the worst of the worst. And I did before. Sir, I apologize. Sir, sir. Right, okay. I saw the letter. There's one mistake after another mistake. Can we pass the letter around? Okay. All right, we're, 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 the I first mistake to, was uh, arresting so the Tudorucci's attorney. Wait, and I, I need apologized to talk. if my letter <laughs> was, and I apologize and I'll apologize Your again. mistakes as an attorney okay. in the right, letter. We're going we're gonna to take a break I for a few minutes. No, 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 no. Are you going to speak? I'm sorry. No, Were you no, going to no. speak for I public got, comments? I got Go ahead. Mistakes from an attorney right, I'm sorry, who represents our district. You have three minutes to state your name and your address, and then you can speak for three minutes. I'm sorry to cut you off though but you can speak just state okay. your name and your address there's mistakes say your name and address Rita Plaza Rita Plaza my family I saw the letter there's mistakes by you which means there was no consideration in her story right in this situation the first mistake was Mr. was Miss instead of Mr. Her attorney is a male. The second mistake, there's, there's one after another, addressing, what is it, Jane Doe? The teacher tutored the siblings of Lily, not 
Liliana. I found it disturbing, right, Jane Doe. There is a third mistake. The third biggest mistake? She should have known as a parent. Not good. That wasn't good. Three major mistakes, not good. You're representing, forget about all that, you're representing the district. Can't be trusted. Her attorney tried, right? What was it, the uh, olive tree? Now he's going for war. I mean, how do you not blame someone for making that statement? Uh, it's sad. My heart breaks. You shouldn't be representing the district. It's like... Not good. You didn't, you didn't give acknowledgement. It wasn't acknowledged correctly. Like it wasn't taken into consideration. It was, I don't know what you were thinking writing that letter. It was like one mistake after another mistake. Jane Doe wasn't the tutor child. It was the siblings of the tutor Jane. That's it. Thank you. I think this gentleman is going to speak first. No, you can speak next. Thank you. Just state your name, sir, please, and your address. John Trentacosta. I have two questions. Um, one, will parents who have children that have been in contact with this teacher be notified, not of the actions that happen, but of a potential threat problem, you know, maybe sh this is not the only incident that has happened with this teacher. Uh, the other parents that have any contact, uh, any, any other children that have contact with this teacher should be able to know so that they can talk to their students. And also when you um, bring up the motion or have your discussion in your executive board for new council. I hope it includes not just new council, but new firm. Because just because you get rid of this attorney, he's still in that office and he could talk to whoever they just put in his place. So uh, I don't need an answer on the other thing. I was, I guess, just more of a point but uh, I would like some sort of recognition to the first question. I made the motion, so I'll answer your question. My motion was absolutely for an entirely new firm. That's good. And the first part, if uh, any of the other parents will be notified of possible indiscretions that they might have to talk to their children about. We'll talk about that in closed session. We're gonna talk about that in closed session too. Do you, I don't, Mr. Vallone, I don't know how you would you answer that one. Publicly. Yes, how, 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 do, how do we know those results? Excuse me, there are other children. I have the letter to you, Mr. Can, can you, from Liliana. Yeah, so I, I think, did you want to say anything about that? Yeah, I, I don't have the, the information. I have to speak with, with the staff, but that was a concern that we did bring up, so um, I have to find out where, where we are in the status of that, but that's a very good question. So would we be able to know next meeting? Sure. Thank you. Hi, my name is Evelyn Bellotti. 
Um, I have a letter for you, Mr. Malone, from Lily. I'm gonna read in one second. I just wanna say what I have to say. Um, as a parent, uh, I've been with Wendy, the Tarichis, from the very beginning of this, and to tell you that I was upset, appalled, disgusted, uh, is beyond. But the worst part of it all was the fact that you blamed the parents, that they should have known better. And one thing that you didn't say, Wendy, was at the end of it, he justified it, said that her justification was that she helped Lily try on a dress. So just because this teacher helped Lily try on a dress, it gives her the right to sexually molest her in a hallway? I don't understand it. I, I really, I truly don't. It's, it's, it's horrible, it's horrible. And um, as far as I keep uh, Jane Doe, you know, she, I had to talk with her and I told her that this is her movement to stand up. I know a lot of people. I was born and raised, no, I wasn't born here, but I was raised here. And uh, all I hear is bad things about this woman. I heard a lot of stuff went under the table. Maybe she was in cahoots with Hibbs. Maybe nobody knows what went, on, went down. But everybody I talk to says, whoa, do, do you know what happened? She's finally out of the district. They finally did it. They finally did it. So I, I pretend like I didn't know because at the time we wanted to keep it, you know, Jane Doe secret. But um, yeah, she's out there living her life, posting all over, taking trips. She doesn't care anymore. It's a really slap in the face for the family as well. Um, so that's all I wanted to say. And I have something here, Mr. Ballone. It says, Dear Mr. Ballone, even though I cannot be here to tell you how this whole situation has made me feel, I asked my mom to give this to you. Mr. Ballone, this is not just standing up for myself. This is doing for, this is for doing what is right when the situation is so bad and it's so scary to even think about it. For all the other boys and girls that had to deal with Jenna Shabika's disgusting behavior, I stand with them. I know they are out there, she told me, and I believe them and I promise you, I will get all of you the justice that we deserve. I'm so sorry to all the kids that nothing was done sooner. From Lily Tudorici. John Adley, Morganville. So I'm looking at your agenda right here. And under the word resignation, it says, be it resolved that the resignation of the following employee be accepted with regret. <laughs> with regret. Now here is what I regret. I regret, I regret the undertone of this Board of Education emphasizing protecting the teacher. Mr. Ballone, you're not here to protect the teacher, you're here to protect the students. That's what we vote you for, to educate and protect. You don't protect the strong, you protect the weak, sir. Now there is eight of you in here today, I would like to hear from each one of you what are you regretting with this predator leaving the scene? What is there to regret that she leaves? George Bellotti. First, I would like to say, you're gross. How dare you? How dare you write a letter like that? Okay? I deal with a lot of attorneys every single day. You're gross. I was present. Look at me. I was present when Shabika came to the house. I was there when she came to a house that she shouldn't have been to her house. And she spoke about things. I, I, have, I have photographs. Because I know if, you, if I didn't have photographs, you'd be like, Ugh. no, no, I have photographs. And let me tell you something. When she was discussing to Wendy that day, are you listening? She was enjoying the conversation how she was talking about fondling her breast. Did Shabika tell you that? 
Let me tell you something. I have a gut instinct, okay? Where I come from, we work on the streets. We don't go, but, you know, we have education and all of that. But let me tell you something. My gut instinct is never wrong. When she says, yes, I, I, I took her breast, I cupped her breast. Are you kidding me? And then she spoke about her son and said, her son, can they say it? Who's autistic, who's autistic, said, your son touched my butt while I was tutoring him. Let me tell you something. What I heard that day, I didn't need to hear anything from you. I heard it from her. I didn't need to hear it from you, from you, from you. I have two daughters. You're just lucky it didn't happen to my daughter. Okay? You're just lucky about that. But the kind of nonsense that you decide to write in a letter, you have any respect? Listen, this is not about money. This is past money. But it's about, I feel, the teachers need to be protected, and so does the children. Okay? You go from kindergarten to 12th grade. These, these teach, good teachers don't need to be helped because they know what to do. They know exactly what to do. But me, when an attorney does this, you're worried about how many millions you have? It's not about that. Maybe sometimes if you turned around and said, hey, we, we're sorry, this is a problem. Instead, you turn around and you make them feel even worse than they need to feel? Well, how would you feel if I came to your, I was your daughter's teacher and I grabbed her breast? I don't think you'd be writing a letter, you would accept a letter from me like that, would you? Learn a little respect. Family is number one. Family first. Understand, I get what you, I get what you have to do about the lawsuit, but this is past the lawsuit. This was when everybody should have came together and said, let's see what really happened. Instead, everybody was going to protect each other. Shabika, she, she should have been arrested that day. That day. The police, instead of her being at Wendy's house, she should have been locked up. But instead, she gets to go to lunch, go get her nails done. It's nonsense. And to hear, to hear that this woman is traveling. She should be traveling in cuffs. I just hope that you could dig down in your soul tonight while you're sleeping and realize one thing. It's not about you. It's not about her. It's about that little girl. Yeah. You understand me? That's what it's about. Not this other nonsense, because anything could be worked out. Thank, thank you. That's all I have to say. Thank you. <clears throat> Good evening again. Mr. Ballone, one thing that was very obvious is that, at least from the way it looks like, none of the board members knew what's about to happen over here today. It actually looks like none of the board members even knew that it's happening, which might be something when it comes to legals. I'm not going to get into it. But you wrote the with regret. Is that correct? That's uh, what we have in our template for all of our resignations. However, it, you know, anytime someone resigns from our district, it is with regret. And in this case, you, 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 we regret Mr. that Ballone. that happened as well. Mr. Ballone, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yes. I'm saying it from the bottom of my heart. You should be ashamed of yourself. I would have called you a name, but it's not the right place to do it. As far as Mr. Zinnemer, I second the community. You should consider resigning with your law firm. Mr. Hyatt, they are owed an apology from you for saying that teachers do not hurt children. And you might as well do it now. I agree in this case, absolutely. I am so, this is the worst thing that could possibly happen. And we need to address it 
as a board. No, I haven't seen it, and I'm not aware of the details that you brought forth tonight. This is absolutely okay. Okay. Oh, any. I th um. I, that's up to Val, but I think you deserve it. Yeah. Did you want to say something, Michael? Were you raising your hand? Oh, okay. Um, all right. Um, will anybody else on the list? Oh, Mr. Pollack. Um, Adam Pollock, uh, 52 St. Lawrence Way. Um, did you all know about this before the meeting? You can't answer. You won't. You can't respond. Okay. So I'd like bef before you, to, if anyone would like to comment, if they knew about this before, um, that would be important to know. And two, if does anybody know if there's a criminal case that's going on about this also? Um, do you want to, well, can you address, you want, you can't address, okay, thank, thank you. In terms of whether there's a criminal case, I, I don't know, nor could we possibly speak about that. That's up to the police to comment on. We're not going to comment on a police matter. In terms of my letter, no, the board had not seen it. Uh, the letter went out on Friday afternoon, so the answer is no. I'm sorry, Wendy ma'am, you just Louis have to Torricci. face the mic. I'm sorry. sorry. Wendy and Sal Todorici. The events happen on March 13th, down the hallway. Like I said, Lily had to go back to class after it happened. They called me, 3.30. What happened for three hours? Lily was in the classroom being tormented some more by Jenna Shabika, tormented about her body her shape, her size, her growth over time. A teacher witnessed the event. Thank God for that teacher. That's She's my angel. She witnessed it. Thank God for her. I can't use her name just yet. As you stated, it took me a week to go to the police. I spoke to them that day with Department of Children's Services, with detectives in my house. And the investigation was already, in, already gone on. So a week, his letter says, I have the letter. He closed it and said the concern about me and Sal was it took a week to go to the police. I was too busy entertaining your teacher in my driveway, happily describing how she touched my daughter in ways no one should touch my daughter, and I have witnesses. And she was on the phone with the principal, who had just spoken with Mr. Ballone. How about that? Then I have 60 emails, uh, 60 text messages. Save my job. I'm going to Dr. Ballone, say it was a joke. Called my daughter. Called my daughter and has been texting my daughter for over a year. Sexual, sexualized content. That's why Lily wrote that. This man, look at him, he blames me. Ma'am, I'm me. sorry, you just have to face this way when you address. He blames me and him. I've got the letter. Don't believe anything I say. Watch the video you'll throw up. The happiness on her face. Read his letter and his emails from Friday, digging himself out because he knows. Like I said, I extended the olive branch. You wanted war? I'm going to gladly oblige. To answer your question, I don't, have any, I don't even want to look at him. Yes, there's a criminal case. The DA in New York, take, in New Jersey, takes forever to work. They can't figure out what's, what's the, the right charge. charge. God willing, by the end of the week, she will be arrested. Does that answer the question? I'm sorry, ma'am. But I, there are other people in this district. I, I just want to apologize for even you even needing to come up here to defend yourself that wasn't necessary like I, I saw the, the letter today and 
it was three hours before coming here. Although my and daughter I, will never be the same. I am so sorry. And I sorry have two more everything. children with needs that are not coming to this school. No, I Absolutely I not. I understand. I, I and just, there's some wonderful teachers in this school. I, I, I know there is. But it's people like that guy over there that will ruin the district. I, I apologize. As I, you could see. From the bottom of my heart, I can't imagine what you're going through. Yeah. And my so. daughter, he wasn't there that day, but he has caused equally, I won't even say his name, but he has caused equally the amount of damage that Jenna Shabika caused right down that hallway to my daughter. He just did it again to her, me, him, and everyone in this room. And I hope it's the last time like she teaches or gets near a child, I hope it's the last time he ever practices law again. Don't forget my face. Don't ever forget it. Anybody else? Okay. Just to answer um, Mr. Pollock as well, I just want to say that I did see the letter um, just a couple hours ago myself. I also saw it yesterday when I heard that through another parent that you were coming, I was extremely concerned at the reason behind you coming because I wasn't aware that you felt that we were blaming you. I'm afraid, I don't want to say, I'm not sure, I don't want to get in trouble here and say too much, but I went to the board office and asked to see what the correspondence was. Um, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to each and every one of you. It'll be a public document very soon. Dr. Miskowitz, were you going to say something? I want to know how everybody saw it. I did not see it. I didn't have it I either. Did. Because I heard when, I, when, when we heard. Right we have it for right we ha I think Dr. Miskowitz, Mark just said we have it for closed session. It wasn't okay. sent. It wasn't, it wasn't to sent us. to us. I heard about it and went to Mr. Okay. As, as did we, and, and then followed up. This right. This isn't about money. No, this no. This has I, nothing to do. With, there's no thank you. amount of okay. money. Okay. All right. We're we're gonna. Um, you know what this is about? Sorry. That my daughter didn't have to return to the classroom and look at Shabika's picture on the wall or her niece's picture on the wall. That they had the courtesy of emptying the classroom. How about that? Miss Torich, I just want to say again, thank you for coming and and. I'm with you, and we're going to discuss all of this. And thank you for speaking and your family. Seriously, my kids go here. My son graduated from here. And my daughter is here now, so I, I thank you for coming out. Thank you. Un under, I agree. I understand. Is this picture still up? Understand. That's all. Mr. Ballone, is the picture still up? I'm sorry. Is there still a picture of her hanging in the room or somewhere in the hallway? Why would there? Be I don't know. Is there a picture hanging up somewhere in the hallway? Is there something that reminds her, your daughter, of the teacher anywhere? Is there something else going on still right now in our in the school that like she sees? It's in the letter. Yeah, okay. we'll we'll look actually. Motion to um. So we're gonna have a motion to go to closed session, um, executive, and I'm sorry. Motion to close public comments. Danielle, second. Any discussion? All in favor? Any opposed? Okay. Um, executive session resolution, be it resolved in accordance with the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act, the Mar Marlboro Township Board of Ed shall conduct a closed executive session pursuant to the exceptions prescribed by NJSA 104-12 for the purpose of discussing matters of attorney client privilege, personnel matters before and after care discussion. It is anticipated the length of this executive session will be 60 minutes. An action may be taken in public after the executive session. Be it further resolved that the minutes of the executive session will be released when the need for confidentiality in accordance with NJSA 104-12 no longer applies. Can I have a second? Danielle, all in favor? Any discussion? Okay. Motion to move to executive. <laughs> 